Hi, today we are in one of the most beautiful spots in South Africa in Hatipersport Dam. It's the mountain, it's the dam. It is the most gorgeous property built to entertain and with a mind of every single family member enjoyment. So come and have a look. These owners have gone all out. So we have walked through a very beautiful entrance and it's almost like a runway path that leads us into the entrance hall of the property and we've got the double doors opening this is solid wood and it is um, wood as well as cast iron looks handmade so i'm sure there's a lot of craftsmanship involved and we've now stepped into the double volume entrance and what you'll notice as we go along is because we're in kashane game reserve private estate which is a very exclusive spot right next to Hatipersport Dam with wildlife freely roaming inside. We have a very much a property that is designed specifically to fit in with the wildlife. So we have the exposed touch above us, which is in perfect condition. But at the same time, the owners have wanted to also introduce the modern. So there is the seamless glass throughout the space. And we also see marble tiling and some other modern elements as we go. So ultra modern and contemporary meets game reserve feel meet African chic interior absolutely stunning and they've also put some art pieces that fit in with that look now a very interesting architecture we've got here the entire house is literally you can walk around the circle around this internal courtyard that's set up as a golf course a miniature golf playing field and uh, you can literally walk around and enter every room from the interior as well as from inside that golf course space and you've got also doors uh, leading to the outside garden space. We are almost on a hectare property so you've got plenty of space for everyone. So from the entrance we've walked to the left now and this is I would say the cocktail room where you will welcome your guests and maybe have some cocktails placed right in the middle here impress them with the look and feel and entice them to step into the next room. Stunning fireplace, nice and warm for the super hot day we're already experiencing, so we very hot here, but we had to show you the look. And uh, this fireplace is gas and it, it looks beautiful, it also works beautifully. The temperature is probably 40 degrees now, so <laughs> really nice and warm in here. I've now stepped into the formal lounge area, one of many. And um, what I immediately notice here is a really, really interesting wallpaper. It, um, it almost feels like a 3D effect on it, and uh, it has a textural element to it as well. So every room as we go, you notice different type of wallpaper, different style of color, however, all in the same tones of very warm, earthy, grays and beiges, a touch of glamour. This is almost like a copper gold effect. So you have that glamour, but you also have the modern and uh, uh, really the African fusion style. We've now walked out again of that uh, formal lounge area. And this is probably my favorite room, but there are quite a few in the house stepping towards an internal boma area. How? cool is that so absolutely gorgeous it's a round shape in line with the whole boma feel there are windows that we can open so imagine hot summer night stunning breeze coming from outside all your indigenous trees so everything will be nice and green the whole time all your friends seated around the circular space look at the stunning chimney suspended from the top and they specifically designed the statue here also as a rondavel, which immediately reminds me of Kruger Park, but on an exceptionally luxurious level. I haven't seen this kind of setup in Kruger Park, but it is really gorgeous. And this is gas boma, so super easy to turn on and off. And you even have mood lighting 
placed its tube lighting uh, around the entire circular shape. So everything reinforces this rondavel feel that we've got and really invites you to sit and relax with your friends. Absolutely gorgeous. And from there, we step into yet another entertainment space. And this is the interior built-in bar. And again, there are touches of this whole circular movement here as well. I think the architect and the designer work together to have this whole feel. The entire house is, you know, you can walk in a circle and reach every single room. The bar is a half circle shape as well. So you can really walk from the one side and out the other side. And from every single corner or spot of the space, you're stepping out into the garden space and you're stepping back into, into the space. And before I forget this room, let's just walk back the circle because we can't miss the cinema room. Caesar stone countertop and it's uh, white which really looks nice and crisp against that dark wood and it's all natural wood the bar is built on and uh, you've got the raised countertop for your guests to place their cocktails you also have a lowered countertop just behind so imagine if you're standing here or you have a caterer for those special events everything happens behind on the lowered countertop and there is a ton of space behind as well for your wines glasses and everything else that you might desire and then right next to the bar quite fitting is the cinema room and this is a gorgeous space once again de dedicated to enjoying um, your movies or your sports games so right next to the bar grab a drink come sit here and again they've they've brought in this game reserve chic here so you've got um, this looks like tree stumps, however, it um, looks like made, made of metal with your natural leather seating. And then there's even the soundproofing on the wall. This would absorb the sound and it gives you another textural element just to maybe feel whilst you're watching, enjoying a nice uh, movie. Most of the house is also fitted with air cons, just pointing it out, but also with the high ceilings and with the thatch, I'm told the temperature is quite even throughout the year. So you don't really need to use the aircons too much. And the house also has a generator, so you are sorted for those load shedding days. So you see what we've done? We've now walked half a circle already around that gorgeous interior space. So for families with lots of children, you can even keep the external doors closed and you know where your kids are all the time. So we've walked past the bar area and now we are into the formal dining room space. Another gorgeous room. And look at this. This is a tree stump that's been used, or an entire tree, should I say rather, that's been used to create the stunning dining room table. And they've brought in a bit of steel as well. So again, bringing in the modern with the natural wood as well. And these uh, very luxurious white big seats that invite you to sit and again, enjoy your space with your friends. I think we're gonna step out now so we don't uh, miss out on the absolutely gorgeous garden space. We are on a massive piece of land and it is all open. There is decking and this is composite decking, so super low maintenance. There is decking along the entire uh, front of the house or the back of the house, should I say. And uh, they've placed some tanning chairs. They've placed a high cocktail table as well as a dining table outside because you want to have options. And we're now out onto the pool area. And of course, we have an interior boma. We have to have an outside boma as well. So the one was in the interior rondavo space. Now we are outside under the stars. And this is where the real fire, the big bonfires take place. And I imagine telling stories under the stars and uh, sipping that uh, glue vine in winter. Let's walk back now towards the pool area. And this whole pool area, again, the same decking, so it's non-slip, 
you can run, not, not to worry about slipping, but it also has the grass right next to it and it's manicured, it's gorgeous green grass. And then we have outside another entertainment area. And this one very cleverly is raised a little bit because it, that way it gives you a bit of a view above the trees there, but it also gives you a view of the stunning mountain that is behind the house. So what do they say? You have to have a mountain and water. We have everything here. We have nature. Uh, we might even get visited by some of the wildlife here, the box. So this space is so magical. Okay, so now we are up uh, literally three steps. Elevated section allowing for, I would imagine, kids to play here. A nice elevated area that gives you a gorgeous view of your house, but also a stunning view of the mountain that is literally just ahead of you. So we have the water and the dam on the one side, the mountain on the other side, and we are framed by this stunning natural, almost like a bush feel with all the indigenous trees here. And just stepping off the deck area, into the garden space you can see they have uh, c created little spots for people to sit under the trees enjoy there's a swing there there's a little jungle gym area there so super friendly place welcoming and uh, fun for everyone really of all age and just again to bring in a little bit of modern they've got the glass and it's a tinted glass in this case that is balustrades around that entertainment area and all of this is uh, fitted against also those uh, big steel bars so just a touch of modern with the whole game reserve feel that we we getting the vibe outside is pretty much like you are in one of those top most luxurious lodges in Kruger. And again, just to take it all in, standing out here on the deck area, this is a table for easily 16. Look at the light fittings. I mean, how creative and how interesting is that? Again, the natural element. I'm uh, getting vibes from Wayland, I'm sure, and of course, some other African designers because you can just feel this uh, ultra modern chic coming through with every piece of furniture that's chosen here. Again, now we've got a bit of the tree stamps here as your serving tables. And this is just another comfortable seating area around the wood burning fireplace. And just a note right across from us there, I forgot to mention we have a uh, built in uh, braai and that is right behind the bar area. So very cleverly positioned next to the bar so you can serve nicely from the braai and immediately opposite is, is that wood burning fireplace clad in stone so everything talks and follows from one another. Flowing from the dining room and past that uh, seating area next to the fireplace we've now stepped into yet another lounge. So literally so far I've counted entrance hall, formal lounge, dining room, bar area, cinema room, and now I call this the family room lounge area. And the reason for that is because it's right next to the kitchen. And if you are anything like my family, everyone wants to be next to the kitchen. So it's a perfect cozy room. And again, you've got very high ceilings, but be the choice of curtains that they've um, selected here makes it very cozy and welcoming. And from there, straight into the kitchen space. But before we explore the kitchen, tucked immediately next to around the corner is one of the guest toilets. And we do have more than one, but very nicely done. It's out of the way, but it also has that uh, hotel feel with the big basin right next to it. Massive mirror and I like what they've done here. This basin is made of solid piece of wood. So it's literally carved out the trunk of a tree. Really stunning. And hopefully the tree died a natural death. And right next to that toilet is the gym area. You can't have such a big house for entertaining and for sitting and dining and whining and not have a gym to work it all out. This house provides for everything. So there's a dedicated gym area, as you can see, beautifully equipped. Also with uh, aircon high ceilings, 
Right next to the gym is the shower as well as a sauna. And right next to the gym is yet another balcony area. And what I love what they've done here is that it is a covered balcony. So you can literally keep it open the whole time and enjoy gymming whilst enjoying the um, absolutely magnificent view. But because it's quite a deep balcony, you can also place all this soft furniture here and it's completely protected from the elements. And what we're taking a peek of here, but we'll see from the other side as well, is an outdoor soccer pitch with a full-on astro and space. You can play basketball, you can play soccer, anything you desire. So they've really thought of everything. We've gone to, from gymming to sitting by the bar to again enjoying the golf. And now we are in the kitchen where all the magic happens with the entertaining. Again, massive countertop. They've done the same color countertop. It's the white Caesar stone look with the solid wood kitchen cupboards behind and a lot of space here for your guests or your family to sit around the countertop whilst uh, you know someone is uh, sitting and maybe fixing some dinner. A lot of cupboard space here, but the, also around the corner, we have a scullery section with yet even more cupboard space. So we sorted with that. And a quick look now out into that sports field. How fun is that to be a kid in this house? Nice and uh, bright sunny right now. We're catching the afternoon sun. But yes, here is the basketball. Here is uh, where soccer happens and literally across is the gym area. Right next to the entrance hall where we started. And no, this isn't the main dining room. This is the second dining room that we're seeing. Remember, we saw another one further down, literally across from, from this uh, golf field in the middle of the house. I just want to point out again the light fitting here. This is again custom made, super arty, very quirky, very interesting and fun. It's, uh, it, the, the designer has had fun in the space. And of course, it does invite you to have fun and to enjoy it. Yet another little cozy room, or not really little. This room, you can see, is designed for the kids to do their homework. So you have the desks built in. In fact, they've built three desks here. So I would imagine a parent can also sit here and supervise because homework doesn't happen without supervision. And then we have the space for enjoying some TV watching as well. And let's carry on further down. Two of the four garages. So there are four garages, two on each side. And what we've got here is just a storeroom. And there's another one upstairs as well. So plenty of storage for a large home such as this, you need it. And now we've stepped into the guest suite. This is the uh, full on apartment in its own right. And it would be the sixth bedroom or the fifth bedroom, depending how you would like to set it up. And you can see there's a kitchen area and um, they, they've uh, also had fun with repurposing some of this furniture. It almost looks like a, a little bit of a rustic furniture, but with a stone countertop, it looks modern again. And then there is the lounge area with a study area and a beautiful cozy bedroom here, space for a big king size bed. And it also has its own feature wall with a feature wallpaper there. And what's quite nice with this uh, apartment is that you have your own balcony, which is big enough and completely private with a stunning view of the mountain just ahead of us. So what better way to spend your afternoons? Just enjoy the view and wait for some of the antelopes to come and visit. So now we've walked some of the exterior and we've walked downstairs. There's one more room left downstairs and that would be the fifth bedroom. So there was this one big guest suite on the one side. I'm walking under the suspended floating staircase that is at the entrance leading to upstairs. And let's quickly head back towards the Boma area 
and have a look at the guest suites on this side. So this is a, a toilet, another one. So they, we've now seen two toilets. And then what is currently set up as a study area, but it's actually the six bedroom, built-in cupboards, full bathroom here, and a stunning room once again with its own private door sliding with its own patio area as well as access to the garden on the other side. So you can literally have two sets of guests on both on um, either end of the house and they will feel perfectly cozy and private and you still will have plenty of space upstairs for the family. And then this corridor will lead you to to the other two garages. And these ones are extra deep, so you can also put a trailer and um, additional storage if you need. Now let's head up. Gorgeous floating staircase, like I said, with uh, the marble tiling clad, as well as uh, the glass railing, so modern meat rustic, but again, very chic rustic. And, uh, it leads you up into, and it separates into two wings, the upstairs section. And those two wings are also framed by a big balcony. So let's head now towards the kids section, should I say. And we immediately walk into a TV room here. Another very nice and cozy room. You see what they've done is they've created this massive seating area and uh, a lot of storage under. So. Being a kid's room, you can imagine all the toys can come out here and you can go out onto the balcony from here as well. But we'll do the balcony later. Now that we're upstairs, we can see the mountain beautifully. Windows can open along the entire corridor. So a lot of natural light. And let's step into bedroom number one. That is bedroom number one upstairs. Super cute, you can see this is the little girl's room. All of the bedrooms have their own private little balcony, which is very nice. High ceiling, and all of them are full on suite. So full bathroom and built-in cupboards. And the flooring upstairs is um, in the bedroom suite is vinyl. So very easy maintenance. And um, it's a light wood look. So again, nice and modern, easy to maintain, but in line with the rest of the look of the house. Gorgeous wide corridor leads us to the next bedroom. Just a note that there's a whole laundry room here, a massive laundry room. And it's nice to do the laundry upstairs. So you don't actually have to carry clothes and linen. Then this is another big linen cupboard. And now this is the second bedroom upstairs or the fourth that we've seen so far. You can see this is the little boys' room. Again, the high ceiling, slightly different look and feel, but very much the same in size. Again, with a very interesting wallpaper. This one looks almost like a grassy feel. And own balcony, ensuite, full bathroom as well. And this would now be the guest bedroom upstairs, but you'll be completely right to mistake it for a main bedroom. It's huge, lots of cupboard space, full bathroom, and uh, stunning room. It really immediately makes you feel of a boutique hotel. The way it's designed, the way everything is set up, the tranquility, we're about to see sunset soon. It really is gorgeous. And you see how the balcony connects all the bedrooms on this wing, which is really nice because if you have the kids on this side, they can all congregate on the balcony and uh, have a little chat and a play. And now we're heading back towards the staircase where it all started and we're going to see the opposite wing of the house and uh, enjoy the most gorgeous uh, main suite. But first a quick look here 
Again, looking back at the entrance hall where we came through and that window that is placed above specifically to show you the stunning mountain. Very, very clever design. And now we've stepped into yet another entertainment room or lounge area. And this one here is uh, for the main suite and it has a kitchenette area, plenty of space, of course, the TV, the high exposed um, thatch roof, but with really nice modern chandelier and multiple balconies. So let's start walking through to have a look. This is now the main bathroom, full bathroom, freestanding bath, which is quite nice. And what I really love here is you can open that sliding door from the shower and get a nice summer breeze or even winter breeze if it gets too hot and you step out onto this very nice balcony that's completely private. And the separate toilet, of course, and double basin. And this is all Caesar stone countertops in the basin. So they're bringing in the whites to um, contrast with the dark woods that they've selected. Now we're stepping into the uh, basically a closet, the walk-in closet, and it's a massive boudoir style room with space here for your makeup, with a beautiful seating area. I love the aircon here. I think it's very clever to have an aircon in your dressing room. And of course, a lot of cupboard space. And I like also that you have some display cabinets as well. And now we're stepping into the main bedroom. This bedroom was set up, of course, to have this beautiful centerpiece, king size bed and the lounge area. Of course, having small kids currently has space for another bed where the kids can come and snuggle up with uh, the parents. But imagine how luxurious this room is. And of course, it also has its own balcony. Nice and private. Another stunning glimpse of the mountain and the indigenous trees surrounding us. We yet to see the animals, but I'm sure they will come. And now let's step out of the main bedroom suite. We've now seen six bedrooms. I lost count on how many lounge areas. And now we're going out again, but on the scenic upstairs balcony and this is one of many balconies. Remember, we saw balconies outside each of the bedrooms, but this balcony here is, I would say, really the most impressive one because here is the water. I can see it in the distance. I hope the camera can see it too. You can also see uh, the lightning conductors. Of course, this whole estate is a nature reserve style estate with the thatch roof so there's lightning conductors everywhere so they've taken care of everything it is an absolutely exclusive space you cannot get such big spaces and stands so close to Johannesburg to Santon to Pretoria and yet feel like you are in a game reserve like you're in Kruger Park it really is breathtaking the sun is about to set Imagine you sit here, you're just hearing the sound of the birds and the occasional animal and it's absolute tranquility and peace. Gorgeous house, six bedrooms, all en suite, eight bathrooms, a gym, a cinema room, uh, various sporting facilities that are just for this house. The, uh, you are on the doorstep or on, on the shores of the Hearty Pierce Port Dam. And you can even have your own boat here and you literally just go out into the water. What more can you ask for? And all of this for well below 20 million rand. Absolute bargain. Don't wait. Call us and come and buy this stunner.